A top Mexican drug lord is in federal custody at the Bayview Detention Center following his arrest in Port Isabel on Friday. Rafael Cárdenas Vela is the nephew of imprisoned golf cartel kingpin Osiel Cárdenas Guillén and slain golf cartel leader Antonio Cárdenas Guillén, a.k.a. Tony Tormenta. He was stopped for speeding on Highway 100 in front of the Cameron County Annex building. Records show at the time of his arrest, Rafael El Durno Cárdenas presented a passport identifying him as Pedro Garcia González. The officer noticed some discrepancies in the driver license, I mean in the identifications that they presented. Uh, one was a passport, one was an I, uh, a cross card, crossing card. Chief of Police Wally Gonzalez says after calling ICE, the agency asked to have the suspects taken in for investigation. He adds there was a total of four men on board a Ford F-150 who informed police they were headed to South Padre Island for dinner. It's a rare high-profile arrest, but Chief Gonzalez says his men are always prepared. This just brings up the fact of what kind of people that we are they're being stopped by their officers on traffic, on you know being arrested for other violations. And it makes the officers more aware, of course, themselves. But we preach to them, safety first. And don't trust anybody. Don't let your guard down. Cardenas, along with his crew, face immigration charges as well as federal drug charges. We contacted ICE and they sent us this statement. ICE Homeland Security Investigations arrested Rafael Cardenas Vela in Texas on October 21st. This is an ongoing investigation. No additional information can be provided at this time. Once in custody, Cardenas was interviewed by ICE agents. He apparently admitted to having been involved in the transportation and importation of marijuana and cocaine into the U.S. for several years.